Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugs Detective, where I view this out and demonstrate various VSTs. For today, we are looking at the Wave Razor. I've not tried this one out yet. This GUI, first off, is insane. Reminds me a lot of like a video game, actually, more than anything. And this is the light version. You know, when it comes to some VSTs, some of them are a standalone free one. Some of them are more of like a light version or a basic version compared to like the premium one that you can buy. So anyway, so let's jump into it. So. We have a bunch of different presets here. All right, so these are the factory ones. And what's cool about this, as I remember seeing, so here is the I main oscillator. So if I want to, I have to figure out how this even, wait, what is this even for? So this is the wave, and it looks like I can adjust it, because I remember seeing on like the site that I can adjust the wave itself, so I can even like make this that and switch it to here. So there's one I can do the second section, so I can but I don't even know some of this is a bit vague to me. So is this I right, see so these are okay, so if I were to like And then, okay. So this is off and on. These are like the different oscillators. So already, I'm just gonna say, okay, so it's an internal BPM. So I can, I wanna slave it to, um, to the main one, but I can adjust it here. Okay. So, and then I don't even know what this means. Okay. Um, is this maybe an arpeggiator? Maybe it seems like. Uh, wow. Okay. So a lot of really cool. Okay. So this is the input. Okay. Input output. So wow. This one's super unique. I feel like this one has some unique sounds to it. How do I view the? Okay. So if I want to see the wave, I have to click this, all right? This is how I can adjust it. You can see the other oscillators. Wow, this is so insane. So I can almost completely customize the waveform. This is super cool. All right, Babel on five. I don't know what this still does. Is that something with this, I'm assuming? Ooh, kind of funky. All right, I should try some of these more. Kind of cool with the GUI too, if I play it, kind of like slowly fades out. Let's go. So also, as you can already tell, or have you been, as you can tell so far, Duffy is like a good bass style plugin for like dubstep, any type of like heavy bass sound. I kind of like Dead Mouse Simpson. I don't like the the noise though on this. I don't know what oscillator that is though, but. So it's just this one. Oh, and there's multiple things. So I can, so now, I thought it was just four. Okay, so I wonder how you can like make more of them. I'm not sure. Hmm, all right. Oh, that is the ARP that I was talking about. So if I want to do like that. Very video game which is kind of cool. Right, so I'll turn this off for now. Turn that off. Uh, so I'm gonna keep trying all these presets because I feel like there's a lot to this plugin. Wow, 
Some of these sounds are super cool. fat <laughs> okay wow so that's like sometimes with the presets it really shows you like what the synth is capable of variation one i wonder what this does i feel like there's an oh i can turn up and down i don't know So cool. some of these sounds are just so unique. I'm like I just think Sarah wet on that one. Man, this is so cool. So it's interesting that for each one, I noticed that these some of these parameters change, like this now says edges. So is that something that's just built in to the uh, the preset itself, or can I like actually customize what's here? Also, this is a light version, so maybe I can't click any of these. Obviously, uh, I'm gonna try the last one. Might as well just do all of them. So now I have this like. This is super cool. And then you have all these different settings. I mean, this honestly is one of the coolest synthesizers I think I've ever used. Just in terms of like being able to, you know, adjust all the different parameters with, you know, the wave function. I can pick like, I can do so many different things. Adjusting the volume of it if I want, like so. You know, and like kind of the, the crosshairs, you know, almost like a video game. Adjusting the oscillator like this as well. Uh, however I want. I don't think so, the definition update. But, um, yeah, super, super unique plugin. Oh, I can even adjust it, like, there, too. See, oh, my God, it's so cool. I feel like this is one that you can mess around with for an insane amount of time with all the customizations, especially all these changing depending on, so if you notice if I just click around, the, the title of these change. So, obviously, they're doing different things, I assume, doing different things, you know, unless they just typed it in, depending on... Almost like kind of the main presets, how sometimes you can do that on like Serum and either one. We have a kind of global macro settings. But such a cool plugin. I'm leaving it the full rating of the 5 out of 5. This is such a fun one to mess around with. I feel like I could mess around with this one for a while. Just with messing around with the waveforms and seeing what kind of sounds you can make. Definitely pick this one up.